Didn't see you there. Well, now that I have your attention, maybe I'll teach you how to build this dwarf statue. What's up guys, Ghost here. Another build video for you. In this one, we're gonna be building this dwarf statue. So in this video, um, I'm going to teach you in stages how to build this. Now, bear in mind, this was a very difficult build to do. So if you're doing this in survival, I highly suggest that you guys build a substantial scaffolding in order to get to all the little places. Um, so with that being said, it was also very difficult to make this video. I had to deconstruct the original statue and build it in steps that were easy enough to follow. And I just found that doing it in one video without any editing or scene cuts was very difficult so the video may be a bit choppy but bear with me and try to follow along and just a heads up this is a longer video okay so start off with two meter beams placing them on the floor in an arrow pattern as you're seeing here using core posts Go up three high. Place this two meter post perpendicular to the arrow and add two one meter posts on top of it. This is going to give a center point for you to work off of. Then use 26 degree beams, snap them to the end, and two vertical posts on the end as well. Stick these two 26 meter beams snapped off the bottom side of the two vertical posts. And then here I'm just sticking a temporary horizontal post in. This will give me a ledge to work off of when building the round handle for the axe. Then I'm putting 45 degree beams snapped to the end of the vertical posts. I'm going to start working on the handle here. I'm holding shift to place this first post and then I'm rotating it twice. I'm trying to get the corners to line up real nice in the edge. I'm sticking another one here as a temporary support just to get this little round section built. I removed the little temporary pieces and now I'm placing a 45 degree cross member, snapping it to the uh, horizontal beam at the bottom. With these vertical posts, I like to rotate them in so there's an edge showing along the front instead of a flat face. I feel it just gives it kind of a more defined look to the edge. You don't have to do this. It's just a step that I do. So now I'm face mounting basically the same shape to the front of the axe. I've offset it up slightly just to give it some extra depth. From here I'm building the feet. So I'm using these two meter beams and I'm snapping them to the intersection point that I'm not actually showing in the video. You can see it from the back side once I move around to the back side here. Then I'm using 26 degree beams and I'm just holding shift and placing them near the tip of the tip of the feet. Next I'm moving on to the hands of the dwarf. 
So I'm using one meter beams here and I'm just holding shift and placing them along the tops of the beams below it while pushing it back towards that core wood post. This adds a little bit of depth and stops the whole looking like a wall of beams look. Next I'm wrapping them around to create the illusion that he's holding and grasping the handle of the axe. The rotation here is, I believe, three, might even be four. But the idea is you want a pretty aggressive rotation, just to, like I said, give the idea that he's grasping it. So next, I'm working on the back side of his hand. So this rotation is two. You don't want this one too aggressive. You have to think this is the back side of his hand. Um, here I'm building the cuff of like maybe a glove or something just to add some separation with the, with the whole structure of the hand. I'm using one meter posts and I'm just holding shift and kind of freehand placing them. You don't want to use a two meter here because it overhangs the hand a little bit too much. Next I'm just continuing the round pattern above the top hand. So again, I place the first one while holding shift and then the two side ones I rotate them twice and then hold shift and try to line the corners up to make as round of a shape as I can. You want to check to make sure that you're in line with the bottom one here. So then I remove that core wood post and I replace it with a two meter post. And then I just pop a one meter beam along the top just to add kind of a pummel to the top of the handle. Moving along the back side of the statue, I start by using core wood posts. Using four meter posts, I snap them just behind the one in front of it, and I go up three with it. From there, I'll surface mount a two meter post to the back side, making sure that it goes up higher than the core wood post by about a meter. Next I switch back to 2 meter core wood posts and I face mount them towards the back side of the central one to create the beginning of a sort of a curved surface for his beard so it's not just a flat wall. Then I switch to 1 meter beams and I create this V pattern. This is going to be his mouth. From there I take another 1 meter post and slap it on top of the 2 meter below it. That gives me a mounting point for these two 26 degree beams. This creates his mustache. Now in this step I actually messed up the rotation and I go back a little bit later and I break that down and correct the, the actual snapping points. I rotated these, they should be flat. So then I'll switch back to two meter core wood posts and continue the beard pattern. Again, just face mounting it towards the back side just to help create a curved look to the beard. This part's tricky. Using a four meter forward post, you wanna snap it about a half a meter behind that little arrow that you created in step one and go up four posts with it. The spacing for that can be tricky and that's just to mount this nose here. If the nose sticks out too far, you've placed the corewood post a little too close to the front of the statue and you can just correct it. You want to hold shift while placing that 26 degree beam and sliding it down so it touches the mustache. So just before the cut you saw me place that 2 meter beam. 
That's going to give a mounting point for a few things. The first one being the last few pieces of the beard here. You can see me snapping them to the end of that post. Sort of beam. Then I put another beam on top of it. That gives me a mounting point for the face surface. From there I'm face mounting a 2 meter beam off the back side of the lower one. That gives me a mounting point to create the semicircle for his helmet. Working off the end of that, I used one meter beams and uh, just snapped them in a rough semicircle. Here I'm starting the face surface by using a two meter post. It's snapped in the very center of the beam below it and making sure that the face of it is parallel to the front of the statue. From there I'm building off of it. The next one in line will be rotated once and then the one after that will be placed at the same rotation so that it creates that arc. Next I'm putting on these two meter posts sort of in front of the face surface to create the edge of the, the helmet. And from here I just start working my way around the helmet using the half circle structure we created just holding shift placing them roughly this doesn't have to be perfect it's just a rough shape for his helmet Here I snap a one meter post to the top of the one below it and that gives me a mounting point to create the structure of the top of the helmet. To create that I'm using 26 degree beams snapped and rotated. Just going to create the brim of the helmet by using one meter beams here, snapped and roughly rotated. A lot of this build is going to end up being sort of freehand. So here I'm going to create an additional layer on the helmet. So using one meter posts I kind of create this stepped pattern off of the cheekbones. And then I just continue it around. Again I'm holding shift here because there's not really any snap points. Here I'm just adding a couple of pieces off the sides of the helmet to create a, an ear that raises above the top of the helmet. I'm using two meter posts. On top of those I'll just stick some one meter posts. Now that we finished the head, it's time to work on the body. To start the body, you're going to use 26 degree beams snapped to the side of the cross member that we placed in to create the half circle for the helmet shape. Then you're going to snap 4 meter core wood posts to the bottom of it. This can be tricky because the posts will actually break before you place the next one.
I guess you could place horizontal beams and try to tie them into the back post, but just for the sake of the video, I slapped them in very quickly. There I was just sticking one meter posts because I noticed that the core wood didn't touch the ground. I'm not too sure if that works or not, it was just added security. Then I slap a couple of uh, 26 meter beams to the end of those to create a shoulder profile. And then from the, from the end of those, I create sort of a collarbone type trim piece for his uh, cape that he'll be wearing. You have to support these as you go. So to do this, I used some 26 meter beams just roughly snap in place just to hold it. As you can see it took a few attempts. These pieces here will be removed very shortly. They're just there to hold up this sort of collarbone trim piece. And don't worry if it doesn't line up like it does there because we're actually going to be adding to this, covering that up. This just gives you a rough shape to work off of for this next step. So we're going to infill this using uh, 26 degree beams and we're just kind of starting with a face mount off the shoulder piece and then just kind of holding shift and placing it roughly. This portion of the video is going to be a lot of freehand building and I found it very difficult to do this part in a how-to because there's just so many different ways of doing things and like finding something that is so hard to, to actually make a video of and, and make it easy it was very difficult, so just bear with me. This is a lot of freehand work. The idea here is to just create a shoulder profile filled in. So now I'm just adding another layer on top of that trim piece just to pretty it up, hide some of the imperfections. So this is a crown piece for his helmet. I forgot to add it in the previous scenes. I just snapped a 26 degree beam making sure that the end of it overhung the front of the helmet and then I just put a uh, one meter beam snapped to the end. So I'll be starting the profile of the cape here um, by using 26 degree beams. I start by snapping them to the bottom of the collarbone trim and rotating them inwards. Here I'm just going back up to the shoulders. I wasn't quite happy with the profile so I added some 26 degree beams to the top of it to create a more broader look to his shoulders. Moving back to the cape, I start with uh, two meter posts and I build, I build them down and I started noticing that they were breaking so I started adding these horizontal cross members to tie into the core wood posts and support them on the way down.
that last one that I placed last two didn't actually line up but they're supported that portion will be covered afterwards you will never see that so just continue the same thing on the other side I start building out the edges of the cape to be a little wider by using two meter posts I'm holding shift to get the first one situated and then I just snap the ones below it. Here I'm using 45 degree beams and snapping them to the bottom side of the collarbone trim to add a more defined shape to his cape and make it look like he's pushing the cape open with his hands. On the end of those I'm using one meter beams to give me a mounting point for this next step where I use vertical posts face mounted underneath in a stepped pattern to create a angled opening for the cape. I move around to the back side of the statue and I start to fill in the gaps using 45 degree beams uh, face mounted. just sort of stacking these on top of each other just to fill in the gaps. Moving back to the front, I'm using vertical 2 meter posts and uh, mounting them to the bottom side of those 45s to close in the cape a bit around his hands. From here I just go back and add a few extra little details just to help define the cape a little better. I'm closing in this stepped gap and then I'll add some trim along the top. The last step is to just move around to the back and put these 45 degree cross members in. If you made it this far in the video, I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to my channel where I post a lot of uh, how-to videos as well as showcase videos on some of my builds. Um, if you're interested in getting this statue without having to do the whole build, in the description will be the link to the vBuild file that you can download. Uh, I'd want to thank you for watching the video and as usual this was a build by Ghost.